Do you know how many hours each employee has available for working? As part of the time tracking and planning process for your organization, you need to define the basic work week and holidays for your staff. These hours are defined in tempo with what are called workload schemes and holiday schemes and are used in both timesheets and capacity planner. For each employee, their capacity for work is determined by subtracting their holiday hours from their workload hours. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a new workload scheme, and I'll cover holiday schemes in another video. First off, you need to have the Tempo Administrator permission, which is in the JIRA Global permissions. In Tempo, I'll go to Settings here and select Workload under Staff. The default Tempo workload scheme has 8 working hours each day from Monday to Friday, adding up to 40 hours per week. All employees are added to this scheme by default, including new users who are added to Tempo. So if this is good enough for your organization, your work here is done. You can edit the scheme to what you want, or if you need different working hour schemes, you need to create them, like these two that I made earlier. So to do that, click New Workload Scheme up here and give it a name, and I'll call it Part-Time. I'll enter 4 hours per day, Monday to Friday, and then click Save. Now I need to add the part-time employees to this scheme, so I'll click Members beside it, and that opens up the Manage Staff page. I'll delete the current filter so that I can find the staff that I want. And I'll also select Active from this list to filter for only active users. I'll select Vivian here, Click the Workload Scheme link for her, select the Part-Time Scheme from this list, and click Move. And close the confirmation message. Now if I filter by Workload Scheme and select the Part-Time Scheme, you can see Vivian here. And just to know that moving Vivian removes her from the default workload scheme where she was, since an employee can be in only one scheme at a time. Now let's look at where those workload schemes matter in Tempo. In Timesheets, when I go to My Work to log my time, I see at the top here how many hours I've logged out of the required hours for the week, which is 40 in my case. And on each day, I see how many hours I've logged out of the required hours per weekday, which is 8. So that's the Workload Scheme doing its job. In Capacity Planner, the Workload Scheme is evident when I see my planned hours. Each workday in the Resource Planning view shows that I have 8 hours available. And when I have plans for all these hours, I get a green bar. If I have only some of these 8 hours planned, I get a yellow bar. And that means I have capacity for more work on those days. Of course, if I have too much to do and I'm overbooked, I get a red bar. So that indicates that I need to look at how to distribute that work better. So that's how workload schemes work in both Timesheets and Capacity Planner. Now you're ready to create some holiday schemes to finish defining the capacity for work for your staff.